First up is Akeem. We're going to have Akeem pronounce his last name because I get that question from every TV announcer that comes in. It's Augusti. So you can pronounce the E in there. Augusti. All right. Questions for Akeem. Akeem, how do you explain the, uh, the, the defense's play and performance as opposed to previous week against Arkansas? Um, I think we came out there a little bit more focused. Uh, I felt like we got kind of got embarrassed by Ryan Mallet a little bit. And we're not a team that takes stuff like that lightly, so we definitely came together and did what we had to do to get the job done this week. I came up here. Um, human nature, how, how do you not look past Troy? I mean, there are two, you know, there's the rivalry game followed by the SEC championship game. I, I think you can say all you want that you, you're not looking, but it seems like it would be so tough not to overlook Troy. Uh, not really, man. Uh, just by our pass here, you know, usually these last three, four games, we just go downhill, you know, the old South Carolina, but not this team, man. We, we focus on taking game one, then we got Clemson after this one. We got two more games left, and we really focusing on these two before we even think about SC. Akeem, what's your impression of what this means to Coach Spurrier to win another championship, to win it here, win two at two schools in the in the SEC? Uh, I mean, it's big for his legacy, you know, and it's great, it's great for ours too. And I feel like he's he probably is just as excited as as we are and stuff. So, I mean, I feel like. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just a great feeling. Akeem, have you heard from any of the guys who are gone now? Maybe they were a little old, older than you, but that you played with them since oh, you yeah. were the uh, Got a couple of text messages and stuff, you know, right after the game. Captain text me wood, just telling me great job and stuff, man. And just, I got to go out there and finish. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go finish. Akeem, just a little follow-up on about not taking quite lightly. Has there been talk about um, maintaining momentum going into the SEC championship game, and that's why it's important to take care of Troy and Clemson? Of course. I mean, I feel like we got to keep getting better. We can't have no no slouch game right now. We always got to keep going forward. So defense going to be ready. Offense going to be ready. We're going to try to dominate. Akeem, kind of a follow-up on the first question. Uh, the secondary was, was much maligned the last few weeks, and I'm sure that had to have affected you, and then you obviously came out ready to play Florida and shut down their offense on Saturday. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, Ryan Mallett, they played a great game. I mean, I don't take nothing from them, but I just felt like our defense weren't really there and our offense weren't really there, but we came together when we needed to, and when all the marbles was on the table, we came together and got it done. But Keen, there was talk of cutting down your checks and everything, yet you had to do some when they brought in the other quarterback. So those things go well. The other oh, yeah. Night. I mean, I was there, as you can see, I mean, we kind of, I don't know, I can't say dominated them the whole game, but we kept them out the end zone for the most part for the whole game. I think we probably played 18 plays the first half. So, I mean, three and out, three and out, three and out. We need it. Can you talk about the legacy of this senior class? It's not a huge group, but what these guys have meant for y'all to get you where you're going? Oh, yeah, Cliff Matthews, Pat, uh, Jarrell, it's a lot of them. And they play, they play, they play their part, you know? The coach was talking about it yesterday, about everybody being accountable for themselves, you know? Everybody got to start not eating fried chicken on Fridays right before the game. It's just a little stuff like that, man. So. Uh, I feel like the seniors, they motivate us and keep us going. When stuff goes down, we turn to them for leadership and they, they come through. Has the fried chicken thing been an issue? <laughs> nah, nah, no, not no more. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about what it means to be part of the first team that's ever made it to the SEC championship in South Carolina. Um, I mean, I want to talk about when we win it, so. But, um, I mean, it's great, though. For us to be number one, and that is that's pretty big. So from now on, my kids and other people's kids and always remember this this team right here, 2010. Thank you.
What's, uh, what, what's the buzz been on, on campus? I mean, I, I think throughout the season, I've heard a lot of South Carolina fans that were, I guess, cautiously optimistic is the best way to put it. But what have you heard from some of your classmates? Uh, <laughs> classmates are going to be classmates. You know, they regular fans. So people are going to pat you on the back. At the same time, we know what we got to do. And we know that we can't get complacent and, and feed in anything that, that the media is telling us or everybody's telling us how good we are because we ain't there yet. So. You're from Florida, correct? Were you recruited by the Gators? And how nice is this to kind of throw that in your face? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely, man. I mean, South Carolina coming out of high school, I probably was recruited by a lot of schools. Florida, Florida State, everybody in Florida, basically. But they have the grades. And South Carolina probably was the only school that stuck with me and, and went through my hard times and stuff. So stuck with them and finally got to beat Florida at Florida. I think that was the first time we were too, right? Yeah, yeah, so that thing was big right there, so definitely love it. Akeem, how surprised were you and the players in general at the fans that were here at 2 o'clock in the morning when you got back? Oh, that was crazy. I didn't even know something like that was going on. I think somebody uh, sent a picture to Cliff Matthews' phone and he showed us on the airplane how many people it was out there. It was ridiculous. See everybody behind us, though. How hard is it not to let your mind drift? You know who you're going to play in the SEC championship game. You know the day. You, you know you know the stakes. How hard is it not to let your mind drift ahead to what happens in December? I mean, we're a lot older team now, so we know we got to focus. You know that's the biggest thing we're preaching this week is focus. We got to stay focused on Troy. I mean, SC is coming, but at the same time, we got two more games and two more big games. And we want to set a real legacy and went out, so that's what we want to do. Anything else for Akeem? One more? Final home game of the season for you guys. For you, what does it mean when 2001 is blaring and you're getting all psyched up and ready to hit the field? Uh, it's big. I mean, Couple seconds to game time, to kickoffs, to return, something. Get this thing started. I love it, man. I can't wait the Saturday comes, to play at 12, get this game done. We got to finish. So. I mean, does it really get you psyched up? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I love the 2000 song. I mean, we really don't hear it at times. We come out probably at the end. So, coming out to the smoke and stuff. So, definitely be ready.